Negotiations, they're exciting. It means that you have the opportunity to work with a new client. But negotiations can also be a little stressful, especially if you're wondering if you're saying the right thing in English or if you can't find your words. But with a few new phrases, you can improve your negotiations right now. Let's get started. Hi, I'm your English coach, Christina, and welcome to Business English with Christina, where you become better at English and better at business. In this lesson, we'll learn nine new phrases that you can start using in your negotiations so that you can feel more confident today. You'll learn polite, professional, and confident ways to ask what your client wants and to see if the client agrees with you. And you'll learn the phrases that you need to conclude that negotiation. And you'll hear them in a conversation so you know how to use them. Now, before we start, please subscribe to my channel so that I can help you to improve your business English even more. Now, before we begin, I have some advice to you as a business owner and a neuro language coach. You know, I run my business in France and I have to negotiate in French and sometimes it does feel like it's a lot of pressure and maybe it feels like you have a lot to learn and you have to do it quickly. Now I'm also a neuro language coach so I want to remind you to try to relax and focus on the most important expressions that you can use in your life today. Take a small step. Learn those expressions really well and then try to use them and see how your confidence improves. All right, so you're ready to learn. Now, as a neuro language coach, I know that you need to hear these expressions in context to make them meaningful for you. So your first job in this video, because you're going to do some work too, your first job, it's just to listen to this dialogue. It's a negotiation between two native speakers. And all you have to do right now is just listen and see if you can hear and notice some key phrases for negotiations. Hey, it's great to actually meet you in person so that we can talk about the new project. Um, can you tell me a little bit more? Like, what would you like to accomplish? Well, we'd like to offer training to all of our staff because we want them to become great negotiators. All right, great. That sounds like a wonderful goal. And how can we help you to reach your goals? What we're interested in is the full-time immersion for the entire team. Um, and we'd like to focus on just this skill for maybe one week at least. Okay, so if I understand you correctly, you'd like your entire sales team to focus on this training during all of the normal working hours for a week or perhaps more. Is that right? Right. But we can only do that during one of the weeks when business is usually slow. But yeah, that's the idea. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely something we can do. We can offer you a one week training session for your entire sales team during your slow season. And then we'll add a second trainer so that your team can work in small groups. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds great. But um, since we're a large team and we are planning the training well in advance, uh, could you also provide us with uh, maybe an extra session on negotiations in English as part of the deal? Okay, yeah, that's, that's a fair suggestion. Uh, we could offer you the English training during your week-long training free of charge. All right, perfect. I think that's everything. All right. I think we have a deal. I'm looking forward to working with you. All right. Now that you've had a chance to listen to that short negotiation in English, let's talk about those expressions. That way you'll be able to use them too. We're going to start with the expressions that will help you listen to your client and understand what they want. Of course, you'll know exactly what the client wants to gain from working with you. And here are a few expressions that you can use to start that discussion. What would you like to do? Pretty simple. What would you like to achieve or accomplish? Or what are your goals? And to know exactly what the client wants from you, you can also ask, what do you expect from our company? Or how can we help you reach your goals? 
Another expression for understanding your client in greater detail, it's, what do you mean? And we can use that um, in different ways. Like, what do you mean by short term, for example, so that you're sure that you're on the same page? Or when you say short term, what do you mean exactly? And this way, you're clear, you're absolutely sure that you're speaking the same language, and you're ready for the next step in the negotiation. Now, before we get into asking the client's opinion, go ahead and hit a thumbs up for this lesson and subscribe to my channel to let me know that you're enjoying this. All right, in your negotiation, you definitely want to ask the client for their opinion of the offer. So here are some professional ways that you can do that. What do you think? Or, so what do you think about our proposal? Another expression, how does that sound? Or how does that sound to you? And this is just another way of asking the client what they think. So now maybe your client is hesitating a little bit and you would like them to help you by suggesting something that would help them to say yes to your proposal. So here's an expression you can try. What would it take for this proposal to work? Or what would it take for us to be able to work for you? Asking these questions can help the negotiation move closer to an agreement. You're finding out exactly what is essential for them. And that way you can see if you're able to give that to them. And if you're starting to agree, maybe it's almost time to close that negotiation. So. Now, you need to know how to close that negotiation. So here are some phrases to help you with that. First is make sure that both parties understand the offer. Maybe there's something that you want to point out as a very important point to you, or you want to make sure simply that both of you understand the details of the negotiation. So you can say something like, I'd like to clarify our position. And then just explain anything that you need to in more details. Or you can simply say, just to clarify. And if your client makes a point that you can accept or agree to, you can show that you understand what they're asking for and that you're open to that idea by saying, that's a fair suggestion. And then you can follow up by making some other suggestions of your own with expressions like, we could, we are prepared to, or what we could do is, and then of course you complete those expressions with your own terms for the negotiation. And if everything goes well, you're getting close to sealing the deal, as we say, you can use one of these expressions. It's a deal, we have a deal, or I think we have a deal. Now, as we say in English, if you don't use it, you lose it. So here's how you can use what you learned today. Tell me one expression that you plan to use in your future negotiations in English and use it in an example situation that's real life for you. It's the perfect opportunity to practice to make sure that you use this expression correctly and to add it to your active vocabulary. So put all of that down in the comments. And if this lesson was helpful for you, I would love to know. There's three simple ways that you can tell me. Give me a thumbs up on YouTube and subscribe to this channel so that you never miss my business English lessons. You can go over to my website, christinarubafay.com, and you can get your free English habits kit to help you start a lifelong journey of learning English with some solid habits. And you can go ahead and watch this next lesson, which is all about some essential business idioms in English. All right, thank you so much for improving with Business English with Christina, and I'll see you next time.